troubleshooting an air conditioner. I'm not getting any low voltage at the thermostat. As soon as I open this, I could smell that this transformer was burning up. I mean, this thing is this thing is hot. I'm gonna turn the power off at this disconnect. Here's our low voltage wires coming off of the transformer. One goes to the, this is your common. I'm gonna remove that. And here's our red wire. Just gonna cut this. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, get our low voltage wires out of the way. Here's our neutral and hot wire coming in. This is 120 volts. I just want to verify. Power's off. I'm gonna hook my meter leads, these alligator clips up to the power coming out of the transformer. And then turn the power back on. I've got zero. Not a. Got voltage coming in. Power back off. Cutting the neutral wire. Cutting the high voltage wire coming into the transformer. Hooking my alligator leads up to the high voltage coming into the transformer. One twenty volts. That's just to show you. We're just verifying facts. I'm gonna cut this. Here's our new transformer. This is one twenty, two oh eight, and two forty. White is our common wire and black is our 120 volt wire. The other wires, these are the low voltage wires coming out. We're only using black and white. These wires will not be used. I'll cap those, I'll cap these off. Hooking up the low voltage common wire. I can put this back on the top part of the fan relay. Looking up our voltage coming in. Looking up our neutral wire. Last but not least is our red power wire. We're gonna do something. We're not just gonna hook it up and twist it together. Because if we do that, this transform the old transformer failed for a reason. I already troubleshooted and I think I got it figured out. Um, what we're gonna do to this red wire is add a three amp fuse. You can get a thousand of these off Amazon for like six bucks, maybe a hundred. They're cheap. And this is gonna protect this transformer. Three amp, I think is the soft spot or the sweet spot. Five amp fuses, I've seen these transformers go out if it were something like a bad contact coil. It's got a couple spade connectors. And I said this before, get you a dedicating crimping tool if you're gonna be doing work like this. I'm 
Give it a little tug. Give it a little tug. And now install the fuse. I'll pretty this up once we verify that there's no shorts. Power is reapplied. I'm gonna jump out the fan, red to green. Fan came on. Let's see if our compressor comes on. I'm gonna jump red to yellow. I've got the red wire and yellow wire jumped and I hear the refrigerant. Turn this power off. Next, I'm gonna wrap some electrical tape around these metal connections because I don't want it rubbing against this casing and popping. Got that wrapped all up. Let me show you why this popped in the first place. Here's our unit, cooling like a champ. I don't know why that's up there. So what happened, here's our old thermostat wire. You can see it's frayed in quite a lot of different spots. I ran all new thermostat wire on the roof. Like, look at that. There's a whole spot there that's bare for several inches. And this runs along this copper pipe. And if this, when this yellow wire is energized and it hits against the copper pipe or its counterpart, the common, it's going to overheat that transformer and blow it. Another reason transformers blow are bad contactors. With the power off, just ohm the coils. You want about 10 to 15. Hope that helps some of y'all out. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.